Okay, we return another integral. This one's from the UK integration B sample number 13. We have the integral of one over one plus e to the x dx. Okay, I think this is a really common integral that comes up and I've probably done it quite a few times on the channel. So what I'm gonna do is look for a different way to do it, some kind of alternative method. And what I wanna do actually was try to use the half angles on this. What I can do, if I multiply in here, I can multiply in by e to the minus x over two, do the same thing in the numerator. So we're not changing it, we're just multiplying by one. So when we go ahead and we multiply this stuff in, what's gonna happen? We're gonna have just e minus x over two in the numerator. Then in the denominator, I'm gonna reorder it. So first, when you multiply e minus x over two times e to the x, you get e to the x over two. Then just multiplying this times one, we get e minus x over two. But the thing I wanna notice here with this denominator, this is really similar to cosh x over two. All we'd have to do is multiply in or divide by two here so that we're just changing it by a constant which we could fix up front. Then what's gonna happen here, this right here, this would be exactly our definition for cosh x over two. But rather than do this right now, let's kind of get rid of this. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is manipulate this numerator to get it to work with this. So first let's remove this dx just so I can get some more space. Here, I'll put the dx way over here. So then first, what I'm gonna do, if I add if I just add e to the x over two, then now the whole integral is one. So that's gonna be easy to deal with. But we changed it, of course, so let's not change it. Let's subtract off the same thing. So then here we're just adding zero. And then what I'm thinking about is actually splitting this into two integrals, splitting it right here, where the first integral is just gonna be one. The second one's gonna be this thing over this. But then how do we deal with that? Well, what I can do here is Let's just make another, let's just kind of force another change to happen and I'll add in e to the minus x over two. So just adding up the whole numerator, the middle terms here are zero, e minus x over two, e minus x over two. Now we have two copies of this. I don't want to change it, so let's multiply by a half. And now the whole integral is the same. So then what I'll do is go ahead and we can split this into two integrals, but we already see here that the first integral is going to be just one. The second one, we're going to have, we have to distribute it into one half. But what I'm gonna do is factor a minus sign out of this numerator. We're gonna have this same denominator right here. We're gonna have e x over two plus e minus x over two. And then the numerator, we're gonna have this, but just with the sign reverse, where it's gonna end up being e x over two minus e minus x over two. And then with this integral right here, we can go back to our definitions. Like I said earlier, the denominator is a lot like cosh, but we don't have the two. The same thing with the numerator. It's a lot like our definition for cinch x over two. So putting this together with cinch x over two over cosh x over two, what you end up with is tanch x over two, and that's exactly what we have right here. So updating this, what we'll do is we'll integrate one, we're just gonna have half x right here, minus a half, and this whole thing is just the integral of tanch x over two. And so we can just go ahead and integrate this. What's gonna happen, we have our minus one half out front. This is a lot like the integral of tangent. It's gonna be just natural log absolute value of cosh x over two, because we have one half here in the denominator, we need to bring it out as a two, but that's gonna cancel with the one half and just give us a one out front. And now at this point, this is a fine solution. We could add a plus C on here and call it good. But what I wanna do is actually, let's get it back into the single angle, just because I feel like it, and that's probably what you'd get if you did it by normal methods, you'd get it back with you just have a single X. So let's see if we can kind of manipulate this. So first, cosh, sorry, that's cosh, not cosine. Let's change that. <laughs> So first, cosh is always positive, so I'm just gonna remove absolute value because we don't need that there. And let's get rid of the plus C for now. And what I wanna do is let's rewrite this in terms, let's put it back in terms of the definition that we saw earlier. So I'll write this as E X over two plus E minus X over two over two. But then from here with division, what I could do is use log properties to split this up. So we'll have first, we'll have just the numerator E x over two plus e minus x over two. And then minus natural log of two, we have a minus in front, minus times minus is plus, this is gonna be plus ln two. But I actually, I shouldn't have removed the plus c earlier, right? Because this right here is just a constant value. And what we can do is just kind of absorb it into the constant and ignore this natural log of two. And from here, let's just focus on this and try to simplify this, get it back to single angles. And that's not gonna be too difficult. We're gonna do basically the same thing we did earlier in reverse. If I take this, if I just multiply this by e x over two over e x over two, now I'm just multiplying by one,
then distributing this in here, what we're gonna have, this is the first term is gonna be e to the x. This times this is gonna be just a plus one over e x over two. So then let's take this and put it back in the natural log, but what I'm gonna do is split it up again with log properties. So we have x over two. Then I'm just gonna take the numerator, natural log e x plus one. Then again, for the denominator splitting up, we're gonna have minus natural log of this, but minus times minus is plus. So we're gonna have plus natural log e x over two. But then here, we can just take this out front using log properties, and then what's left here is natural log of one with but then what's left here, natural log e is just one. So this whole thing right here just becomes x over two. And then what I can do, adding x over two to x over two, that's just gonna be x minus natural log e to the x plus one, add a plus c, and that's it. And so this solution here is maybe what you got using regular methods. Another way to express this, you could put it all together and write it as minus natural log of one plus e minus x, and so this would be another alternative. This is what they had in the answer key for the uh, UK integration B. Okay, there you have it. UK integration B sample number 13. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.